Hello, I'm Bruce Zimmerman, and this is the Open Line Garden Show podcast for this week. Now, just this past Thursday, we were taking a look at the new plants for 2018 and making suggestions at the Stokes Trials. This is an invitation-only event, and uh, we had a really good time. The usual people who come to this are people who make the public aware of what's new, what's exciting, what's worthwhile taking a look at and maybe even purchasing. And we had a great day. It was a a long day, of course, because you're out there tramping through the trial gardens. And Stokes Trial Gardens is certainly not small. And we got to taste as well. Now, when you taste you also get to look. So I'm going to break this down into two. I'm going to do Flowers of Merit for 2018, and then I'm going to move over into the vegetable section. So let's start with the flowers first. This is uh, some of the plants that we saw which impressed us. Now, when you've been around as long as I have, it's hard to impress me. So let's be honest, there's a lot there that would impress most people, but you got to really do something special to impress me. Alternanthra, Purple Prince, was one of those that really impressed me. Now, Alternanthra has been around forever. It's been used in knot gardens and bedding plants and edgers, etc., etc. This one is, let's put it this way, so different that you would take a look at it second look as well and then look again and on the third look you're going to go and look at the label because it doesn't look like the old ultranthra i really do like this one it's got great color it's very durable it's a ruby and burgundy foliage and It really works both as a spiller, which means it will flow over the edge of the pot, not straight down, but spill over, and give you great impact in a container. So you want to take a look at this one and mix it in with some other things, like some of the other flowers that we're going to talk about here, because this one is actually quite nice. I like this one. It's also quite large. So you may want to make sure that you're in a large container if you're going to mix these with others. Plant it near the edge, let it spill over, and plant the others around it. It Needs the sun. I've seen it work really well in moist, well-drained soils, but also you need to give it adequate moisture on a very regular basis. So take a look at that one. And then, of course, there is the Coreopsis. Now, Coreopsis has been around a while. This one is Sunfire. It's a single golden yellow flower with a burgundy eye. It's very compact. It's a perennial. It works great in pots. And, of course, like most Coreopsis, it's heat tolerant. What you'll find with this one is that it is a great plant that goes well almost anywhere in the border. Now, because it's a compact plant, you don't want to bury it farther back into a mixed border. But it's going to give you long-term color. It's going to give you brightness, okay? And the nice contrast of the burgundy, basically red and yellow, which I find very attractive. So let's take a look at that one as well. And not just for pots, but also as a plant for the front of a mixed perennial border. Cosmos. Now this one is underused. We really need to start using more Cosmos. I really do like it. It's a great plant. It's open. It's airy. It has daisy flowers that are large and very pretty. Now, Apollo is the newer variety. It has a more dwarf habit, 
and it has shorter inner nodes. So you know how they always got so big and airy, just like I said, right? This one is a little more tight. So it gives a better display of color to the garden in a more compact place. That means you can sort of tuck it in in the gaps between other plants as well. And uh, so take your mixed border and drop these in between some of the other plants. And I think you will really like it. It has very large flowers. It has lots and lots of incredible showy petals on these flowers. It can go into containers or the gardens. And it, as I said, actually blooms for long periods of time. It has great disease resistance and heat tolerance. And it's easy to grow. I like that. Okay. Now, there's, there, there's some key things here. Good filler. It's white. And it, so it'll blend or work as a transition between colors in a border or in a container and last long time as a good strong bloomer a little more compact i like it petunia evening sensation now this one is interesting in the fact that it is a low spreading vigorous plant with large numbers of indigo blooms now this one will work in the garden and landscape it's a great performer it will go into mixed containers and hanging baskets the flowers have sort of that hyacinth like scent so you've got the petunia with the evening scent that's really quite strong and many petunias do have a scent and you can smell them under a certain right conditions but this one is actually quite well scented and the hyacinth scent also they say now I'm, I'm gonna hold this one because i haven't really smelled it i'm not great at smelling as you will know but it's supposed to have a hyacinth scent with a touch of honey okay i'm gonna take their word for it okay and does that mean that it's sweet hyacinth smell I think so, but we'll see. It is really nice, and it is an AAS winner. So that is another good reason to actually go and get this one as well. Osteospermum has been around. It's always been a little harder to grow. A lot of people think, look at it and say it looks like a daisy. And it is a daisy or a composite flower. Okay, that means it's got the central button eye and the ray petals, etc. Right? But this one is a mixture and it's a Killa Grand Canyon mix. Now, this color has the popular colors of yellow in it and the rose reds as well. It has purples and lavenders, creams and whites. Okay, so you know darn well you're going to get a really good array of color from these osteospermums. So you're going to be planting several of these that will give you a good range of color. And people, and because they bloom so long, people think they really are a daisy chrysanthemum, but they aren't. They are not winter hardy so you're going to have to plant them every year but you won't care anyways there's that nice a plant so take a look at those and try them as well now one of the old flowers i mean this was old when i went to school is stocks now stocks have been around forever and ever and ever and they're considered really an old-fashioned flower. So because they're so old-fashioned, they fell away from popularity. Even though there are some of the evening scented stocks that smell really great in the evening, etc. Still didn't matter. They just went bye-bye. 
But this one is called Mime, and it's early. It's got lots of fragrant blooms on top of true green foliage. So it's got a good, strong green foliage, fragrant blooms, and very uniform in size. Approximately 55% of the blooms will be double. It has strong stems, so it's not going to go over on you because these big double flowers are quite heavy, and in the wind, of course, they're likely to. So they've got the good strong stems to prevent that. It's also very showy in the garden because they are early, they are fragrant, and they are in, uh, let's just say, the fragrance is going to say, ooh, there's something fragrance here. And you're going to like them. I really think you... They almost, to me, they're more on a pink shade. They almost remind me of a double hollyhock, but smaller, okay? And uh, more compact and doesn't have all the problems and diseases and rusts and everything else that hollyhocks get. So try that as well. There is uh, pentas. And pentas are not well grown. These are interesting plants in the fact that people don't really know them. They are coming more and more popular again. They give a continuous show, which is the reason why they're coming, making a comeback. They do have full lush plants that have been bred so that they bloom again and again and again quickly so that makes them great but it also is a compact plant which is good because a lot of them in the old days got rather leggy I mean a short one would have been 18 inches so you can want to take a look at that one as well the compact habit keeps it nice and tight and tidy and you you don't really have too much work to do to keep this one in great shape. Now, peppers. Now, these are considered ornamentals. And um, I've been watching ornamental peppers for a long time. I really like the idea. But nobody can come up with a good ornamental pepper that you can eat. But Wicked is going to be coming out and being supplied by Stokes. So that's good. This is a compact plant with extra large fruit that starts out purple and turns red. It's great for in mixed containers and it the fruit does have some mild heat. So just be careful with that one. Midnight Fire is a very dark black foliage and it is got purple fruit. Now, it matures to a bright red. So again, you're getting decent contrast. And then there's Blaze, uh, which is a very large fruit. And therefore, it keeps, it shows, okay? Because they're large fruit. A lot of the ornamental peppers, the, the peppers are small. Okay, they're colorful, but they're small. I like the ones with the big, big peppers on them. Autumn tones are the colors of the fruit. So they start yellow and mature red. The fruit has a medium heat, so take that as you wish. So take a look. These are ornamental peppers. So you're looking for Wicked. You're looking for Midnight Fire and Blaze. And take a look and see which ones you like. Maybe you'll try them all and put them into a container and mix them around. Okay? I like that as well. There is a few others. The Snapdragons called Candy Tops. This one is going to be a great in containers. It's got strong stems, lots of blooms, dwarf plants, and constant color and a sweet fragrance. I like this. Okay, if you're going to put this close to where you're going to be sitting. You want that fragrance as well as color. 
and I'm glad to see that more and more of these plants that are getting so popular are actually fragrant as well as colorful and easy to grow. I'm Bruce Zimmerman. This is The Garden Show on CFBU 103.7 FM, St. Catharines. We'll be right back after these messages. 